Welcome everybody back to Let's Play Mario is Missing. Call here with you and this is plays brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Uh, my professionalism for the win. There we go. Moving on. So we finished off Iggy last video and now we are still in Europe? Yeah, we're still in Europe. I think it's not London, actually, so maybe it's... Prince Charles will one day be king. If you know... If you know you're in London, you know everything. If that's the case, then I know Sam RTX is around. But, of course. I don't see him right now. Maybe I have a crumpet with him. Actually, I've never had crumpets, come to think of it. Are they actually good? I don't know. I know why a crumpet is. I just love it when you're recording and all of a sudden someone just ends up speaking. It's a rhetorical question, woman! So I guess Big Ben, which is right there. I don't know much about. Actually, do know Big Ben's a giant clock, so. Uh, one more there. So we're in London. Of course, it. Okay, whatever Bell was doing, but moving on. So. Big Ben's been handled stolen, blah blah blah. Big Ben, the symbol of England, is located in the Houses of Parliament, England's Capitol Hill. It's officially called the House of Westminster, originally the Palace of Edward the Confessor. Don't want to know why, but moving on. At the north end of Parliament is the Clock Tower, 320 feet high. The face of the Clock Tower is enormous. The middle hands alone are 14 feet long, which is about like 3 or 4 of me, so... Although most people believe that the clock itself is Big Ben, that distinction goes to the tower's 13-ton bell, which strikes the hour and lets London know all is well. Okay, let's return to hand. Big Ben is a bell. The BBC uses Big Ben as its either hmm, time signal transmitter. Yeah, it was the first one there. Okay, so now that we've been uncovered. Let's attack this kid. Are you a samurai? No, you're not. You stand with the Union Jack unfurled. You're in the eighth largest city in the world. Okay, so I think, yeah, it's two down here. I want to grab him. And not neither one of them. Okay, so I guess we're heading up. Of course, I was driving to the left side of the road in England, but... And the pedals are interesting over there. Of course, in North America, we usually drive on the right side of the road. Yes, this one I want to get. Because you can't do that. Just jump. I love how we can... Okay, so... What we got there? Queen's Crown, or King's Crown. Oh, we got them all. And that picture of that guy, okay. Okay, so... I wanna kill this guy and attack this guy. Uh, London's capital for 2,000 years. Although in Europe, it's an island I hear. Well, of course it is! Three of them left. Yeah. I'm gonna come down here to kill you. 
We'll go back to that other area in a minute. Do you want to... Stop by the rest of these Coopers. We're even in front of that police officer. Which actually do look like an English police officer in the map. It's not like one of those guys stand up, always doing nothing. You know, you gotta be forced to stand at one position. Okay, I think I'll go down, back down this way. I've landed in London in time for tea. While in England, I'm known as a female Bobby. Are you supposed to be a girl? Oi. Always look ways, both ways before you go down the street. Because you never know when there's no cars coming. Okay. And the crown jewel stolen, blah blah blah. William the Conqueror built the Tower of London for several reasons. To protect London from invasion, which really did a great job in the Second World War. Actually, well, they did kind of win in that one. But thank you, Winston Churchill. Moving on. To oversee shipping on the Thames and to scare subjects. The original tower was built in 1078. It covers 18 acres on the banks of the Thames River. At various times, the tower has a mint, a fortress, a vault, a terrible jail, I'm guessing because everyone always escaped from it, and a place of execution. Fame. Famous such, uh, same famous as a snow place for English elaborate crown jewels. The jewel house includes the largest cut diamond in the world, 530 characters. I don't want to see that again. I'm going to do this. Okay, so one of the things the Tower of London was not used for was a. Gee, I wonder, a post office. Uh, who ordered the building of the Tower of London? Even the Conqueror. So, yeah. So, I guess. We'll go down to the Notre Well, I would say Notre Dame first. Yeah, we did Paris earlier. Wait. I gotta go up twice? Let's go this way. Okay, there we go. Keep going down. Think one more up to no. Shit. Think we have to go down this one. Yeah, we have gone on this one. Well, yeah, very interesting that's place so far. I think I'm on the last floor. I looked it up right anyway. Um, okay, so like it says, uh, the bust of Shakespeare was stolen, blah blah blah. And with the confessor, a one time ruler, ordered the building of Westminster Abbey, officially known as the Collegiate Church of St. Peter in Westminster, to serve as his burial place. From his death in 1066 until 1760, most British and English sovereigns were buried there. Perhaps to get their money's worth, the Abbey has also been the site of coronations and many royal weddings. Considered a masterpiece of Gothic architecture, the Abbey has undergone many renovations. Okay, so I'm gonna just replace that one. Ever the Confessor ordered this Abbey to be built as, well, a wedding hall. Actually, a burial place. The Abbey of Abbey is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture, as I just read to you guys, so... I may not be smart, but... I know I can be... Well, actually, I know I can be dumb at times. Okay, I think we wanna... Go here. Now, to find out where that... No, we got a long way. Well, sorry. We're halfway through the video now. Anyway, I'd say I'm only getting 
guess that just by the there we go now let's go okay street yeah straight ahead straight ahead yeah straight ahead too bad Yoshi can't uh, I don't know eat the pokies okay don't really care for the password right now Okay, so why don't we go to this town? I'm gonna kill you. Definitely still in Europe. Or are we? Maybe we're in Madrid. I haven't really practiced this, so. Caro sits on the split of the Nile. Okay, never mind. From here, the river goes south for 900 miles. Cairo, eh? Egypt? Yes, it is. Well. Okay, so... Let's take a look at the map here. Ooh, interesting map. Well, here, police officer. See how you're getting bugged. Why do you not arrest these things? Okay, we have a pyramid. Actually, I should go back and talk to that officer. Might be a good idea. You're in Rasmus Square, Cairo, Egypt, Africa. Mosque of Muhammad Ali. So yeah, we have a mosque of a, of a famous boxer apparently. Actually, I do believe that it's not actually his real name though. I don't know, I could be wrong. One leg I'm wrong. And two, wait. Yeah, two of them are right next to each other. It's actually be the Sphinx and the Pyramid! Okay. You're in 96 square miles of the desert. But don't desert us yet. Don't desert. Not desert us yet. This is a desert. Okay, uh. You're in the desert, but don't desert us. Okay, bad plan, punk. Huh? Okay, so what have we got here? Okay, fellow. I think there's one more. I think I know it's two. I hope I know it's two. There we go. Keep on moving. There must be a bridge there, because that's Stuart and Alice. Oh, up one. And talk to this guy. Well, Saudi Arabia, we entered Egypt by the southeast border. Dancy Camerals were our trusty porters. That'll be our last one. It's for a clock. That'll be for the Muhammad one? You gotta die. I gotta attack the professor anyway. If it is a mummy's, Papius and Hyro, your mummy would love a postcard here from here in Cairo. I'm Luigi. I don't have a mother. That's artificially made by coding and given the ability to jump on Coopers. Is this what we do? Yes. And okay. That's it for them. Okay, so I think I want to go... Yeah, I want to go to that one down there first. I mean, finding big band is pretty much easy. Come to 
think of it. How about our sand sandstorms down here? You'd be looking Canada and shovel them out all out. Okay, the gingerbread clock was stolen, eh? The Muhammad Ali Mosque was built by a Sultan in 1430 using the Turkish style of the Ottoman Empire. Its nickname, the Alabaster Mosque, comes from the valuable white stone that covers the temple's facade. The clock tower on the courtyard's western side was a gift to the Sultan by King Louis Philippe of France in return for the stone obelisk, which now stands in front of France's Palace de la Concorde. Egyptian Sultans lived in the mosque until 1517. It is now used only for prayer. Yeah, let's return to clock itself. Okay, so what are they, uh... Well, I do ever want to... What did the Egyptians trade for uh, the clock tower? I always wanted to trade a recipe for french fries on it, but there's the old disc. What will you find inside the main domed building? Sultan's Crypt, the Ottoman Empire, Egyptian Sultans, or, well, the clock tower? No. Okay, well, I don't get that question again. Whatever, I'm gonna mess up on a few. I don't even bother trying this. Oh, yeah, you're a busy wooden chair. You're a Okay, it's on top of the Citadel. Okay, who lived in the mosque until. Oh. Sultans. Why were you find inside the main don't building? Yeah. Get this moving on. Yay. No. How about Ali built his mask and suited up for security? Fox. Ah. Well, that's not really rolling. No. Okay, who lived there until that one? Sultans. So there's so not Egyptian Sultans. Not the Sultans Crypt. Maybe I should find this out. Watch, see the. Yeah. Uh, okay. Don't think that. Something's crypt, okay. Okay, so that's the mask of Muhammad Ali. Knock out Joe Frazier. Let's see. Yeah, let's go to the pyramid first. Okay, so the Great Pyramid. Top brick stone. The ancient Greeks call the Great Pyramid of Giza one of the world's seven great wonders. Pyramids are elaborate tombs housing the mummified remains of the pharaohs and the fantastic treasures and paraphernalia that were buried with them to ensure a comfortable afterlife. The limestone pyramid covers 13 acres of desert and is 480 feet high. Every royal pyramid entrance faces north towards the pole star. The details of the engineering and building of the wondrous pyramids still remain a mystery today. Thank you, slavery. Of course, I'll be sarcastic on that one. What you get is what you see. Pyramids were built to be... tombs. I think everyone knew that one. 
The Great Pyramid Tips scale at... Ooh. God, uh, it's not 755 pounds. We, yeah. That was a raw guess, by the way. Okay, so... The Claft of the Sphinx... The Sphinx of Stone, I'm assuming that's the hat. The man-faced lion statue was named the Sphinx by the ancient Greeks. A Sphinx is a mystical monster who like to ask riddles, then kill those unfortunate enough not to know the answer. The Great Sphinx was carved from one enormous piece of limestone, 240 feet long and 66 feet high. Later, the Ottoman Turks used the cat for tiger practice. Its nose and King Tut style beard were knocked clean off its face. The original name meant Lord, and it is today presumed that the Sphinx was built to guard the Great Pyramids that stand behind it. Okay, well, gave the Sphinx its name, the Greeks. Well, the Sphinx had to be located in Giza, because that's where the pyramids are located. Okay, so let's use the Globulator. Bring up our good friend Yoshi. Okay. Oh, we just passed him. Okay. There we go. There we go. right there. I think you even had time bonus there, I don't know. Okay, so three more doors before we take our Roy. We'll go through this door in the next video. This is called signing off. Peace out, everybody.